We'll now look at a question on probability. It's a question which tests knowledge of independent events. It's a six mark question, a grade C question, and it will test AO3 skills. AO3 skills mean that you'll get a problem to solve, no hints, no tips, and you'll have to work out a method of solution for yourself. Right, let's look at a question. This is about a spinner. It has six sections, numbered 1, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 9. The table shows some of the probabilities of the spinner landing on an individual number. Here's the table. And the instruction is, the spinner is spun twice and the scores obtained are added together. Part A asks you to write down all the possible combinations of scores that will give a total of 10. So, let's look at a sample student answer. This student tries a few combinations. 5 plus 6, 11, 4 plus 6, 10, 5 plus 5, 4 plus 4 over here, 1 plus 9, and settles on 1 plus 9, 4 plus 6, 5 plus 5. But, sadly, forgets to have the 9 plus 1 and 6 plus 4 alternatives. The, these two the other way around. So, we'll not score two marks. We'll, I'm afraid, only score one mark. Right, now for part B. Calculate the probability of obtaining a total of 18 after two spins. Well, a total of 18, fairly obviously, is going to come from 9 and 9 in two spins, but the probability for 9 is missing. So, the wise student will realise that using mutually exclusive events, this probability is obtained by adding these together and taking away from 1. Total probability always 1. Let's have a look. Calculate the probability of 9, 9 plus 9, 18. Fine. And it's correct. Look, 1 take away the sum of all the probabilities in the table. Slight slip. Not too serious. 0 0.3. Wrong answer. But realises the answer is wrong, checks it again, with his calculator perhaps, good idea, and takes 0 0.8 away from 1, 0 0.2. And then, very wisely, for 18, realises that you have to multiply the two probabilities together. Probability of 9, and another 9, and always means multiply, 0 0.2 times 0 0.2. What a shame. 0.2 times 0.2 should have one, two decimal places. Sadly, it's wrong. It should be 0.04, but nonetheless, the method is correct, and four marks, well, the student obtains three marks, which is pretty good. 